Hello, I'd like to show you the new updates to the load calculation page in ThermalGrid. The new updates will allow you to do multiple things. One of them would be you're still able to go through and do a load calculation of the entire home and put it as one load calculation. The new features allow you to be able to do maybe multiple systems to one home in one order, or you're able to do a room by room load calculation. So if you were to go through and do a load calculation as normal and do, let's say the entire home, you could call this the entire home load calculation. And we can put in the load calculation, how many kitchens we have and how many bathrooms. This is something that is new. If there are multiple kitchens in there, put how many there are total. And people in bedrooms, that's the same thing. Just however many people live in the home and however many bedrooms are in the home, just add those two together. And that's the information that you're going to get there. Put the total square feet for heating and cooling. And you can put in windows. And when we put in windows, there's a couple ways to do it. If they're all about the same size and they're going the same direction, let's say all of these are going to be on the east and west, you could put in total of 10, east and west. The type of window that you have, you can change that. Uh, so that's one way to add it in. The other way is, is if they are different size windows or directions, then you can put in here just one window at a time and add as many as you would like and the direction that they face. Then you can add in the doors. There's different types of doors. Your patio doors will go here. Uh, metal doors, wood doors, insulation, whatever you have for a door. And just put the dimensions there and the direction that it faces and that's your doors when it comes to the wall the wall is going to be your outside perimeter of the home of anything that's being conditioned so let's say the perimeter of this home is 136 and the height of ceiling is eight feet so that's what we would put in there and then we select the type of insulation that's in the walls the r value when it comes to the ceiling we want to put the ceiling that is towards the uh, attic insulation. And you can put in the dimensions of the ceiling or you can put the square feet by one uh, as well. And then you can select the type of insulation that you have and you can save that in. And then we can do flooring and the flooring would be the same way. You can put the dimensions in or the square feet and then pick the type of flooring uh, that it is over. So if it's over a finished basement, then you would put that unfinished basement slab crawl space, and so on. If you had a home that had, let's say, a crawl space or an attic, and that's where the ductwork was going, what you would do is you would select ductwork or crawl space. So you can choose right here. And what you're going to do is put the percentage of the ductwork that is going to the crawl space. So if half the home was a crawl space and half the home was over a basement, you would put 50% of the ductwork is go going into the crawl space, and you'd save that in. Uh, this particular home, we weren't going into a crawl space, so I'll just go ahead and delete that back out. So this would be the entire home, and you're able to do a view detail, and everything is broken out for you, and you can print it, and you can email it over to anybody that may need it. So that would be one option. Another option would be if we were to have uh, maybe two systems in the home. Maybe we're going to do one system for this, and we can call this the upper living area and let's say that there's a lower living area that would have its own system what we would do is come up to the top right and click add analysis do lower living area and then we'd go through and put in how many kitchens and bathrooms are on this lower level, how many bedrooms and people uh, that sleep in those bedrooms would be here. So let's just say we have three square feet. Let's just say it's 1,500 finished square feet of condition space. And then we'd go in and add all the windows and doors and walls and everything for that level. Once we get done with that, we can go back to the summary page. And what we could do is we have... Uh, We could call this both levels and we could add the load and we could say upper and lower. And that would be the load for both levels. If 
we were going to have two separate systems for this, what we would do is we'd have upper living area load here, and then we could go in and add a system down here. So we could call this upper and this lower, and then we can go in and add the lower living space here. Then we have two separate load calculations. So that's how you'd have two separate systems for a home. Another way that you could do it is if we had multiple rooms that we wanted to do or a room by room. So then we could go to kitchen and you'd put the square feet of the kitchen in here. And you could add in if there was any windows in the kitchen. Any doors, the wall that is exposed to the outside. So let's say it's a 20 foot wall to the outside and it's an eight foot ceiling. Pick your insulation. And the square foot of this room is 200. And if we have that in there, then we can add, let's say, another room, master bedroom. You can put in your square feet and do the same thing that you did. Uh, this is going to have people in bedrooms here. So we'd put, uh, let's say we have two people in one bedroom, that'd be a total of three. And if this did include the bedroom you, or the bathroom, you'd be able to put that in as well. And then you just add in the windows, the outside perimeter wall for that bedroom, ceiling square feet, flooring square feet in that room. You're going to get a detail per room by doing this. And uh, what you can do is you can go back to the summary page. You can add system in. And we can select the kitchen, master bedroom, and every bedroom in the house. And then you'd have a separate load calculation for that. So this is how you'd be able to do multiple systems for a house. You can do one load calculation for the home, or you can do a room by room if that's something that, uh, that your company does. So I hope you like the upgrades that we did to the load calculation page here and the uh, processes available make it faster and easier for you guys. Good luck, and if you need anything, give us a call anytime and we can help you through it. Thank you.